Samsung's next powerhouse chip for mobile devices, the Exynos 2600, is shaping up to be something special. It's expected to debut inside the upcoming Galaxy S26 lineup, and early signs point to a serious leap in performance. Recently, the chip appeared on Geekbench, and the results are turning heads. It's reportedly much stronger than both the Exynos 2500 and last year's Snapdragon 8 Elite. But here's where it gets even more interesting. While it wasn't initially as powerful as the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, fresh benchmark leaks suggest a twist. The Exynos 2600 might actually surpass it. In fact, it could even match the single core power of Apple's M5 chip, which fuels their latest tablets and laptops. Onyx Lafayette shared what looks like a Geekbench CPU test for the Exynos 2600. The numbers are impressive. 4,217 points in single core and 13,482 in multi-core. For comparison, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 scores around 3,800 in single core and 12,100 in multi-core. Ease while Apple's M5 hits roughly 4,000, 217,800 respectively. That said, the Exynos 2600 test result isn't visible on Geekbench's public database, likely because it was done through Geekbench Corporate. So, while this leak looks exciting, it's best to take it with a grain of salt until we see official confirmation. Just when everyone thought the excitement around Samsung's next flagship couldn't grow any louder, the rumor mill is buzzing once again. And this time, it's all about the Galaxy S26 series. Over the past few months, leaks have been pouring in nonstop. But the latest one brings a twist that fans didn't see coming. A possible delay in the grand launch. According to a fresh report from South Korea's Money Today, via Juken on Exus Twitter, Samsung is now expected to host its much-anticipated unpacked event for the Galaxy S26 series on February 25th in San Francisco, California. Interestingly, this isn't the first time Samsung has gone for a February reveal. Both the Galaxy S23 and S22 made their debuts in the same month. But if the leak turns out to be accurate, this will mark the first late February flagship launch since the legendary Galaxy S9 back in 2018, exactly on the same date. Ever since the first whispers of the Galaxy S26 lineup surfaced, fans were buzzing about a rumored name shuffle, with talks of the base model becoming the Galaxy S26 Pro and the Plus variant taking on the Edge branding. However, those plans have reportedly been shelved. Samsung seems to be sticking to what works best, meaning we'll once again see the classic trio, Galaxy S26, Galaxy S26 Plus, and Galaxy S26 Ultra money. Today's report claims this shift in the product lineup strategy is what caused Samsung to slightly delay the launch. Meanwhile, the much talked about Galaxy S26 Edge might skip the main event altogether, possibly showing up later in the year, a move that feels very familiar. Earlier this year, Samsung launched the Galaxy S25, S25 Plus, and S25 Ultra in January, only to bring the slim, stylish Galaxy S25 Edge in May after a brief teaser during the main reveal. Adding even more fuel to the hype, recent reports suggest that Samsung's upcoming flagships will be powered by the new Exynos 2600 chipset, even the mighty Ultra model. Early benchmarks for this 2 nanometer processor look promising, though we'll have to wait a bit longer to see how it performs in real-world conditions. And just to keep the excitement high, Samsung recently teased its upgraded cameras and artificial intelligence capabilities during an earnings call. If the leaks hold true, the combination of smarter cameras, next-gen AI features, and the powerful Exynos 2600 chip could make the Galaxy S26 series one of Samsung's most ambitious flagships yet. <laughs>